Some Asians have been eating jellyfish for a thousand years. In Europe, they are regarded, if anything, as a novel food. They are not approved for a human consumption, but I'd like to know if and how they might become a new superfood. For many, jellyfish are like the nightmares of the sea. Some are poisonous, some are really painful. I have seen them a few times, but I have never tried them. Today, I came to southern Italy, near to Naples, to eat jellyfish for the first time in my life. I'm really excited. Two Michelin star Italian chef, Gennaro Esposito, is authorized to prepare jellyfish as part of an European research project. He's one of the first Western chefs to experiment with them, but they are not allowed on the menu of his restaurant yet. Tell me, why did you decide to include jellyfish in your cuisine? I love to discover new products. I love to uh, taste uh, new ingredients. We have uh, uh, very good uh, jellyfishes, very different. Some, some jellyfish are very big, so very uh, meaty, very, you know, very tasty. Especially for me, Gennaro Esposito has agreed to prepare two jellyfish dishes. So, Gennaro, what do we have here? Let me introduce my jellyfish. We put together some uh, cucumber. Okay. Uh, we put salt, um, brown sugar, and uh, some herbs. And now our jellyfish is uh, concentrated. You can feel with the touch. <laughs> it's a little stronger. These jellyfish are added to the dish raw. The marine animals are diced and served in a cold cucumber soup combined with raspberries and spirulina in a buffalo kefir sauce. Do you think that jellyfish uh, is a superfood? For sure, it's a superfood because uh, there is nothing like jellyfish. It's um, rich of minerals, rich of uh, uh, important nutrients, and uh, also uh, there is a rich, uh, there is a, is rich of yodium. The second dish is topped with a pesto of squash blossoms and basil. Here, buffalo mozzarella and a selection of vegetables accompany the raw jellyfish. Diana, and now I need wow. your opinion. Wow, Gennaro, that looks fantastic. But before I start, tell me, do you like jellyfish? I love jellyfish. <laughs> That's wonderful. Oh yeah, I'm not sure if I can eat that. I think I'm going to learn more about jellyfish. Off the coast near Ginosa, I meet Italian biotechnologist Antonella Leone. She's taking part in the Use Go Jelly project as well. She's been working with jellyfish for about a decade. Oh wow, this is the first time I've been this close to jellyfish. May I touch them? Oh, oh man. Woo. Whoa, super heavy. <laughs> how, how heavy is this one? Three kilos, maybe. Whoa, okay. You have been working many years already with jellyfish. Um, why should we eat jellyfish? Because they are very interesting animal, because they contain uh, interesting material like uh, proteins, like uh, collagen, and uh, also other um, compounds that can have uh, uh, bioactive activity on uh, human cell culture. They could be a more sustainable uh, seafood uh, as compared to other, uh, other fish that are disappearing uh, nowadays. We have uh, very high amounts of jellyfish. Here you can count tons and tons of jellyfish that are not used. Many people are afraid of jellyfish. Uh, I am also afraid of them. <laughs> uh, should we be afraid or is it like, uh, I mean, are they dangerous or not really? All species of jellyfish contain venoms. Okay. Uh, they can have a venom more or less dangerous, more or less uh, stinging. These species, for example, have venom uh, only in the, in the mucus. To make jellyfish edible, a laboratory has to remove the venom. The focus is primarily on the barrel and Mediterranean jellyfish as potential food sources. Do you consider that jellyfish is the, uh, could be the food of the future? 
COVID is one of the food of the future, of course not only, because we need more food, we need more uh, resources in this sense. But of course we need to study and evaluate and be sure that this food is safe. Another 140 kilometers away in Lecce is the Institute of Science of Food Production, CNR. The team here has developed a way to detoxify and preserve the jellyfish. Freezing them in liquid nitrogen maintains their consistency. Back at the restaurant, I am now ready for the meal. <laughs> jellyfish consists of 95% of water. The rest is mainly protein. It's a bit saltier. Yeah, it tastes like fish. Ooh, it tastes uh, very intense. It's difficult to describe. Mm. It tastes like fish. It's, um, the texture is like rubber. Jellyfish have yet to be officially approved as a foodstuff in Europe. I have a look at the marine animals at the aquarium. They possess a beauty all their own. I'm taking two things away from this trip. First, I will have never imagined eating jellyfish. And second, I learned a lot about them. I have to say that I'm not a seafood fan, but I was very surprised by the dishes. But it is not yet clear if jellyfish can be a food of the future. For myself, I can say without a doubt, they are much nicer in the aquarium than on my dinner plate.